Yeah, you just need even a crappy ship will you can bounty hunt a little bit. You just got to pick your targets. Don't start taking on things like uh, anacondas because you will get your ass handed to you. Um, but then just build up, uh, improve your thrusters, your power plant. Just you know, gradually do it. Um, like I say, I run multi cannons on top, gimbal multi cannons on top in the Cobra, and then I'd run. Um, Two beam lasers gimbaled underneath as well. I uh, just need to scoop some fuel again. <laughs> See, Viper's quite good. Yeah, uh, that is a uh, Tanask. Uh, yeah, obviously you can put shield cells in. It's something I've not used yet. Actually, it should be a. Uh, really, I should. Um, and then just regen your shield straight away once they go down. Uh, Tom C, it's mostly NPCs at the moment. Uh, last night I did have a fight with um, uh, an actual human player. Um, <laughs> actually stole his kill. He wasn't too happy about it because he turned around and attacked me. <laughs> Which... Um, went bad for him because I actually killed him and it, it <laughs> I did feel sorry for him in a way but um, the sneaky little what's it came back and actually uh, attacked me from behind when I was fighting later on um, I was taking on ironically an anaconda and um, I was at, I think about 60% hull my shield had just gone down he jumped back into the uh, nav beacon where I was and I didn't even see him and he just came in and just blasted me and it was like Tsk. V, you know he, he knew that he, he couldn't take me on head to head because he was in a I think he I think he was in a sidewinder or an eagle I think it must have been an eagle so he was getting his ass can handed to him kind of thing but Engaged. Frameshift drive charging. Right, let's head there. I need to really repair this ship. Ready to engage. Yeah, it, it's always that balancing things, okay? Making sure you've got enough for insurance to actually replace the ship. And obviously, the more things you put on it, the more insurance costs. <laughs> yeah, then we all know what you meant, so okay, you're right. Frameshift drive charging. Russell Hig. Never heard of that one before. There you go. Ready 
to engage. Three, two, one, engage. Uh, yes, they do, Brutron. Uh, sometimes you've got to be looking around for the different uh, weapons. Uh, you might find a lot of the time you find the same ones, but there are certain ones that will um, give you, like, a, say, a better. Uh, oops. A gimbaled uh, beam laser or something like that. Uh, it. Uh, Tom C, it depends what um, you actually got. If you got the mercenary pack, then I think you, you're sort of limited. Um, I was a kickstart, kickstarter backer, so I get a lot more option. Um, I get like several different types uh, of places to start from, different ships to start from, because I get to start in like, the Founder's World, I can start in Lave. Uh, thousand credits with the basic uh, Cobra stuff like that so it's it, it depends what you've actually um, pledged for or what you've actually bought as to what you've got I think most people start with the Sidewinder right Right, I'm going to go there, but I'm going to have to take a chance and fly in very quickly because I've got these bloody slaves in the boot. <laughs> Imperial slaves, one ton of. <laughs> yeah, you might need to spread out a little bit, go to a completely different area. Um, because I've been looking for like a new shield generator, I could never find one higher than the one I've got, and then I recently found one that was a better, higher level. <clears throat> yeah, it's a good idea, Brutron. Definitely a good idea. Uh, I, I tried to make a bit of money with the uh, Cobra that I'm using. Addiction. Alright, it's over there. Somewhere. Escape vector. Okay. It's a bit wonky. Uh, let's get lined up again. Yeah, did that into addiction. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna end up in this Yastutin dock. I'm also gonna hope. Democracy, democracy, dictatorship. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping as well that I can. There's a black market so I can sell these slaves off. Set this D scanner on going. Nothing there. Bright light, bright light. Starport, but I will get scanned. I'm just taking a pretty wide berth of this at the moment. So I'll go get myself lined up. Okay. 
Okay, it's down this end. <laughs> Typical, flying in the wrong direction. Let's do a bit of a silent run in, I think. off. See that little ring of security forces zinging around. See, there you go. Right, very much lined up. Docking request granted. Right. And the gear down. Silent running. Shields offline. Landing gear deployed. Ah, that's a little bloody ship just about to dock. Thermal signature restored. There we go. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Where the hell's 34? There. I couldn't see it. Shields online. There we go. Docking successful. Engines disabled. Yeah, I do like the Cobra to be fair. Um but the Type 6 is what I'm intending to buy as well once I've finished upgrading and pimping this out ok, we'll go for the repair refuel ok, contacts, black market, sell illegal goods ok, no it doesn't matter but I just want rid Like so. Security office confirmed. Bounty's gone there. Whew. Right, so we got. So I still need to get to the Empire navigation. Yeah, I think I'm going to try that later on, uh, Wookie. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I can take it down ass. Not too bad, but I, I don't know if when it's pimped out whether I'll be able to or not. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, Brewdron. Uh, it is a bit of a brick. <laughs> that's regarding the Type Six, not the not the Asp. Okay, so let's just have a look at uh, what we've got here. So there's the Asp. <clears throat> a bit more firepower. A bit slower on the speed. Similar on the Viper. Mm. Okay, let's just have a look at 
the old outfit in. Right, just while that's loading in, guys, I'll just be back in two minutes. Hey Master Thief, um, I'm not too sure if they're thinking of implementing FPS uh, in Elite, I know it's definitely coming in Star Citizen, um, but I'm not too sure about it in, uh, in Elite. Okay, let's see. Oh, anyone that doesn't know, and most people probably do, is when you go into the outfit in, if they've got the little blue plus icon next to them, then they actually do stock something that you could put in that slot. Um, if it doesn't, I can't really show you, but it wouldn't have that blue thing there, then uh, you, there's no way you could actually uh, buy that item. Sensors, let's see. See, there's a good sensors there. Power draw's a bit more. See, <coughs> I actually struggle with that one because of the power draw. B3 is comparative. It's uh, now I've got C3 in man. Okay. Power distributor. It's a good little place, this I suppose. Yeah, A3 is pretty much the best I can get there. <coughs> Thrusters on a C4, D4, B4. Youch! 
See that would turn me over my available. Not to worry. Right, so Vaz Yutin Dock in Razal Hag. Good place to come and get your gear. Good place indeed. Right, let's see if we've got anything on the bulletin board. <coughs> hmm. Uh, 20 gold. For the set gold to our client, which should be maybe. Do you ever get the funny feeling <laughs> that you're going to get your ass kicked at that one? But for 200 credits, 200,000 credits, that's good. Due to staff shot, you're coming to watch it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Master Thief, some of us have been waiting many, many years. <laughs> many years indeed. Right, just bear with me. Right, let's just go hauling for some lots of money okay there we go so that's 8.53 I'm going to accept that because it's Bixby Port that just seems hellishly cheap or easy so I need to go to Bixby Port in in the movement for G2931 G13921 One three two one three nine two one. Um, initially, Wookie, you're looking at trading. Um, there's no two ways about it. Trading is going to get you a decent amount of money. That's all I did to start with. Just finding things, take back. It's it's hard to find a route because it fluctuates. So if you keep bringing something in that somebody demands, eventually that demand will drop. Uh, as obviously economies do uh, and then prices change and everything uh, but then I did with the Cobra I, I just kind of upgraded it so I went out back with and taking a bit of money that way so come on out with Mr Sidewinder coming through up we go right uh, the engines boost it off So for me at the moment, anyway, uh, I'm making more money by um, bounty hunting, more than anything. Although I've just picked up this really nice quest mission, even that I've got to take to Bixby Port, and it'll give me 200,000 credits, which is a bit on their dog. Oh, I've not seen them, but <laughs> independent communism. Here we go. I get a funny feeling I'm going to get interdicted and people are going to be having to go at me left, right and centre. If not, I'm going to make an easy 200,000 credits. I'll probably find Bixby Port is about 10,000 light seconds away <laughs> when I get when I drop into the system. it would be like, really? That far? Well, that's actually quite bizarre. Fuel scooping complete. And there's Bixby Port, so let's head there. Fuel 
Okay, Bixby Port is this side of the planet. Could just see it there, that nice little glow. Last thing I want is to go zinging around the other side. Go splat. Because that wouldn't be very good, would it? Entrance port. Seven is there. Oops. Skidded along there. Docking successful. Well, there we go. Engines disengaged. This could be an amazingly quick amount of money there. Bulletin board. 200,000 credits for that. Sheesh. Um, the only thing you can do, Joker, is actually fit a frame shift wake um, analyzer, which I have on my ship. Um, I haven't actually used it a great deal to be honest with you. The frame shift wake scanner. Um, what you can do with that is obviously once they've jumped they leave a wake behind. You can scan it and it'll actually tell you where they've gone. So then, then you set your own um, frame shift drive to that jump point and you go find them. <sighs> I fitted mine. I've hardly used it. I did use it a lot in the uh, a Gamma but uh, since finding the nav beacons, I think if they're going to get away, they're going to get away. Um, I'm at the point where if it's a little amount of money, I'm not going to waste my time jumping out to come back in again. Um, so it depends. If it's if you're say doing an assassination mission or you've got to go find somebody, if you find their wake or their jump and you put your mission, then yeah, that'd be great. You need that. You've got to go after them with it. Alright, so that was amazingly um, easy money making, which is quite bizarre. Uh, okay, right, in regards to graphics, have I got anything I can sell here? Oh, uh, yeah, might as well sell that off. Get rid of that as well. Get rid of some of the money. What's your money? That's what I want. I want your money. Okay. Uh, we have employee consultants, slaves. <laughs> okay, so. I'll have a quick look at the outfitting while we're here, just in case there's anything decent. No guarantees, but there might be. Bum, 
Bum, bum. <clears throat> okay. So you give slightly more power draw on that. The range is further. Actually, we'll kill one of the scanner. I've got a C on that one. Is there anything better? Oh, thank you very much, Master C, for that follow. Thank you very much indeed. Right, uh, have we got anything on here? Oh, yeah, because I've just upgraded them, haven't I? So that's quite good. Let's see. So I actually went down in size on that just so that. Um, my laden weight was actually less because my current range on laden is nearly 14 but if you put more fuel in obviously it's uh, basic discovery don't think anybody's got oh, does anybody actually use um, standard docking computer I used to when uh, I tried it out in beta and it was horrendous. I'd rather do it manually, it's quicker. Detail surface scanner. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> right, we shall carry on on our trip because we were heading to. Hmm. Right, we've got sidetrack, so let's go there. Lyodin. That's where we're heading. Back to the Empire area. It's a nice little place. Got some good rep there. <coughs> I don't know why it also sets my throttle to minus six. Strange. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. Okay. Uh, boosting out the door. Meow. Zuka. Up in it. <laughs> Hair of the dog, Andy. Hair of the dog. Frame shift drive charging. Just have to admit, Andy, that you just felt um, felt weak and ill, and. Um, around the awesomeness of uh, my stream. Go on, admit, I'll, I'll admit it, you know, I'll, I'll let you uh, give me patronage. <laughs> if you believe that, you believe I did it. Oops, hit the brakes. <laughs> um, uh, I don't think it's Tom, um, pretty much you're, you're going to get kicked the crap out of, you, there's nothing big enough spaceship wise, maybe it's the, it might happen as an event where a spaceport gets blown up in the future, I don't know what uh, devs have got planned for that, but uh, as you as a player, I don't think you could do the damage to it. Plus the lasers and all the um, security vessels in the whole region that um, just descend on you and you'd have a massive bounty on your head, you wouldn't survive much. Four, three, two. 
I bet they're actually non-destructible either. <coughs> Annoyingly. short jump but I'm actually stuck in the jump. I haven't had this for a while. Oh, there we go. <coughs> oh hello. Play it. Greg McGregor. Hello whoever you are. If you don't know the difference between the players and NPCs, if you look at the scanner now, that player, that Greg McGregor, which I've just scanned, he's got a hollow icon. Uh, because I've got him targeted, he's actually changed to a triangle. But uh, NPCs will always have a solid rectangular uh, icon, whereas players will always have a hollow one, so you notice the difference. Plus, they will always be called Commander when you uh, target them. Robo Vegetable, welcome to the stream. Um, I'm biased. I would say yes because okay, it may not be a totally finished product because devs have said you know they've got a lot to expand upon. I do think um, that it's a very polished product already, um, and I think it's only going to get better with age. So I am biased. I've played Elite since the first one in '84. Played Frontier, and then I've been waiting for this one as well. So, yes, I'm biased. I'd say it's definitely worth it. Um, if you're still unsure, watch more people's streams, watch more people's uh, videos on YouTube, and just see what they think. You know, see what they say. That's all I can suggest. And just think, is it really for me? Is it a game that I'm going to enjoy? It's a little bit grindy at times. Don't get me wrong, and um, but. We're early on in development, you know, okay, f uh, from release rather than actual uh, game development. So there's going to be, it's going to be fleshed out. There's going to be more to it. There's going to be more ships, more options to do things. So yeah, um, I think it's a uh, forty pound for me, well spent. Even though I've spent slightly more than that, just don't tell the wife. Hey, Harazuki, yep. Uh, he's got it on the bottom. The, there is a grind, but to be honest with you, Elite always was probably one of the most grindy games ever. You know, we go on about World of Warcraft and all the MMOs and things that have been out, you know, in recent times. But Elite, it was like you were grinding to get to a level of Elite. There, there's certainly more options now, plus the multiplayer aspect. And uh, I know what you mean, Andy. It's uh, it's not a be all and end all. You don't have to trade, <coughs> grind, and, and and that's it. You can do more. You could go on and mine. You can go out to Astrofield. You could do exploration and money that. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I know what you mean, Harrows. I, I do find myself doing it because obviously a lot of you guys are in chat and everything, and we we have a discussion about various aspects and that, and I end up not actually looking what I'm doing. As Andy will probably testify, I've overshot things, crashed into things and stuff, so... Oh yeah, that's a good point, Andy. Uh, being able to affect things now, whereas everything used to be just static. So if you, everybody clubbed together and took hundreds of tons of gold to a space station that was crying out for it, then the demand would drop, which, you know, as it should rightly do so there's ways to influence it I'm just waiting to read somebody turning up on mass and really cock or cocking up to a point uh, an economy of a, um, a space station be interesting to see if they could do that okay get the request docking docking request granted Stop the landing gear Landing gear deployed. Bright light, bright light. 
Gotta say the visuals in this game are fantastic. Fabulous, fabulous. 43, coming through. Wow. Hit the brakes. Engine yeah, that's the best thing you could do, rubber, uh, rubber vegetable. Just watch, see if you like it. Um, don't have to watch my stream personally, although I, I do appreciate you watching it. Um, but there's so many aspects to it. Other people will concentrate on trading. I'll do a bit more bounty hunting in a second once I've handed in these uh, these bounties. Um, there's different ships you want to fly, so. Oh, there is Master Thief. Uh, I think once they actually get the wings aspect and the proper group playing, which is something that they're going to focus on, I believe, as soon as they can after, say, January, February time, going out and doing bigger missions than you could take on solo, then that's going to open up the game a bit more because at the moment the multiplayer interaction is minimal. Um, you see a player, you think, am I going to attack him? Is he going to attack me? Uh, you got your friends list, yeah, you see when they're online, and that's about it. So. <laughs> yeah, Andy's my resident stalker as well, by the way. <laughs> as soon as I start streaming, ding, there he is. <laughs> Not complaining, Andy, not complaining. Right, that's a bounty to hand in. 55k, there we go. Nice little balance again. Let's have a look. All pimped out again. Uh, well, I'm glad you like it, Robo Vegetable. Um, don't forget to hit the follow button so that you know when I broadcast. I try and broadcast every night if I can. Um, it's been a little bit of hit and miss over the Christmas period. <laughs> Just ignore Andy, it's not his fault, you know. <laughs> right, so... That's the, see, these are the multi-cannons that I've got, and then underneath I've got some gimbaled beam lasers. The beam lasers are very good at taking down... Um, uh, shields. There we go. Round of applause for Robot Vegetable. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, New Year's Day, Andy's uh, highlight of his life is building flatback furniture. <laughs> oh dear, never mind, Andy. Just think it can only get better. Okay, bulletin board. Oh, Tom C, 1977, thank you very much. I presume you were born in 1977, hence the uh, this 1977 in your name. So that would put you at 37, 37, 38 this year. Ooh, getting there, nearly 40. Right, there's nothing really there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out and do a bit more bounty hunting. I just... What I'm going to do is uh, I look for an anarchy system, which is quite close by. I know there is one in a couple of jumps away from where I am. Now, the reason I go for anarchy systems is... If somebody, if you shoot somebody in an anarchy system, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get a bounty on your head. It doesn't matter because it's an anarchy. Um, there's no government as such. Now, uh, Negaliba is, oh, I don't know, you spell it, it might be just silent and Galiba. That is um, an anarchy system. So pretty much I'm going to get there. Doesn't matter who I shoot, I'm not going to get a bounty on my head. Probably piss off some people, don't get me wrong, but I'm not gonna get a bounty on my head. The other thing is, um, you tend not to get any security there, so you can't accidentally misfire. And I'm sure a lot of us have done it. We fire onto somebody, another plane, plane ship, sorry, swoops in front of us, and you hit them once, and then all of a sudden you've got a fine on your head. And you think, well, it wasn't my fault, they got a daft prat swimming through to me, so. 
Uh, death penalty, you die. You lose your ship. You lose any contents of your ship. Um, ship released. Engines but you have what's called insurance. Oops, somebody's coming in and... Oh, I'm under attack. I just got hit by this station. Oh, you see that? Uh, ooh, oh, God. That just blew up and there's a lay on Type 9 coming in behind me. Yeah, pretty much. Right, I need to get out of here because things are starting to blow up. <laughs> Busy old system, so, right, it's boosting out. There we go. Right. Uh, it's taking us to Volunga this way. Okay. Right, I'm just going to boost away. Got my pips on my engines. But, yeah, um, looking on the status screen, if you notice, now I've got 850,000 credits near enough. My rebuy cost for my ship is going to cost me 67,000. So nearly 68,000. That's because I've upgraded it. I've not got anything loaned on it. Um, and pretty much I have to pay that out to get it back in the condition it is now. I will also get an option to get the bog standard one. Um, which is a Cobra Mark III because that's one of my perks of the Kickstarter was I started with the Cobra Mark III. I can get the standard one which comes with everything loaned. Now we're not going to do that um, unless I couldn't afford the actual uh, insurance. So you've always got to make sure that you're not bankrupting yourself. You can always insure, pay the insurance so you can get your ship back. Right, okay, so just in Valunga, just gonna scoop some fuel. Now you might ask, why do you bother with a fuel scoop? You know, um, when you do a lot of jumps, and if you use the direct route and not the economic route, you use more fuel. Now, I found early on when I was doing trading that I'd do a, a round trip, and I'd be making, say, 20,000 credits profit just for example but I'd actually be paying out 5,000 credits in fuel where the hell have I actually chosen because I don't think I've chosen where I want to go let me just go to this galaxy map I've got a funny feeling I'm not actually oh yeah I've gone that way around oh well uh... oh well um, but yeah, I, a quarter of my profit was gone because of the actual um, fuel costs. So, and the other thing to think of is when you jump about, if you go into a system and you haven't got a long range jump, if you can't refuel anywhere because there's no stations or anything like that, you're pretty much screwed to refuel. Uh, and that caught me out once in Gamma and in fact it was in the lead up to launch so we were nearly to launch and I ran out of fuel and it was a case of I had to self destruct there was no way I could get back it was going to take me something like a day just to get to the next uh, sector just fast flying so I had to self destruct and start again but it's a lesson learned so if you do get the money, even the cheapest fuel scoop will get you out of problems. Do remember though that you can't refuel at every single star. Like this one's a fiery one basically. It's got um, kicking off hydrogen left, right and centre. But there are certain types of star that you can't scoop the fuel from. Uh, there is a chart on Wikipedia on the Elite Wiki. So have a look on there and it'll tell you more detail. So that's our next stop is in Galiba. Yeah. Cool. Well spotted uh, Haraz. So this is one of the good things about uh, chats ongoing when watching people stream. Because you learn stuff. Because the amount of things that I've learned, I mean I've been playing it a little while but I don't know everything about the game. Um, just obviously things like what Harrow's just said about the dotted lines means you haven't got enough fuel to get there you're going to run out of fuel so obviously you need to refuel as you go along Four, three, 
Engage. Again, this is like a imagine our sun. Um, Fuel scooping. Very fiery, full of hydrogen. It's going to give a lot of uh, fuel for me to scoop. Just got to get keep off the surface because otherwise you you start getting damaged. You get pulled out of super cruise. Okay, so we now need to tick on the nav beacon, which is there. Fuel scoop disengaged. Spin it around. Should be fairly close to the nav beacon, which I am. Head towards it. Let's see what we can find. <coughs> I may get a bit of a similar problem here because I've got good reputation within this region that I'm going to find a lot of people who are friendly because uh, like you'll see on my scanner now I've got one green uh, ship and I've got a yellow ship well, or two of each now actually um, well the yellow ones are just neutral to me the green ones are actually friendly in some shape or form because of reputation with this system so here we go. Let's see, we've got we've got an adder. I don't know who they are, but I'm just going to deploy my points. So, just scan them. Dexter Samani. So what are you then, Dexter? Have you been a good little boy? Just need to back off a little bit. Right, scanning. He's cleaning this sector, but normally. He just wants your cargo, but I haven't got any. So, but you've got a 14,000 credit on that. Right, he's deadly, he's clean, but he's dry riding an adder, so I might be able to take this one down. Oops, somebody else is having a go at me, though. But. Under attack. Yeah. Oh. Got this incoming missile. to work out what the hell is going on with this person behind me. Right, I need to put systems on there. Right, I'm not entirely sure why he's having a go at me, but there we go. Come on, give me a boost, give me a boost. Thank you. I'm just trying to put a bit of space between me and him. Yes, um, at the moment I've got everything in engines to give me more power. I'm just going to change it to system so that I reach gen my shields a bit quicker. I'm just going to change it to weapons so that my weapons cool down a lot quicker. I'm not entirely sure why you're having a go at me, fella, but... You're competent in your Cobra Mark III.
Right, he's lost his shield, so I'm just going to hammer the crap out of him now. Ooh. Right, he's regening his shields because he's still targeted on the left hand side. You can see the thing he's zipping around. But I'm hoping I get him down beforehand. There he is. That's for having a go at me, you little sod. I will get a bounty probably for it, but I just took him out. Yeah, it's NPC, yeah. But, um, yeah, for some reason I don't actually know why he actually attacked me. See, he's a Python guy, he's already scanned me. But he is actually friendly, but I'm just going to check him out myself, because he could have a good bounty. He's deployed hard points only because I've scanned on him. Alright, he's buggering off, by the looks of it. Yeah, see, so he's got no record elsewhere. Right, so I'm just going to find the nav beacon again and then head back towards it. Yeah, if you see at the moment, I've just uh, bottom right hand corner where I've got system engines weapons. Now, if I push up on my hat switch on my joystick, it gives me four pips to engines, which means my boost will regen, I'll get more speed from my engines. Now if I pull down, it resets everything to a balance. If I push to the left, it gives me systems, which basically will help me regen my um, shields quicker. Uh, only a little bit, not massive. Reset it again for pips to the right, uh, which is for weapons, which basically allows me to give um, um, my weapons to cool down a lot quicker. Adam Holgate. Uh, yes, Robug. Um, vegetable um, it's I did play with keyboard and mouse initially but to be honest with you since I've switched to um, my x52 and finally got that in use it's light and day to be honest <coughs> okay what have we got here is formation flying at the moment Nice, well done Zorka. They're already a tough fight, aren't they? Always a tough fight. He's got no record. Reese Yamero. Nice. Uh, yeah, Xbox, pa uh, Xbox pads do work as well. I'm not entirely sure how good they actually are, but they are supposed to work. <laughs> Scan detected. Yeah. Right, he's got a little bit of a bounty, not a lot, but he's gonna get shot just for the hell of it. See he's gonna die in instant. There we go. He's gone. <laughs> he had no shields. Yes, um, I can't actually show it at the moment, but there's a, on this screen, you see the sub-targets on the tab at the top, well, when you've actually got something char targeted, you are able to specific, specifically target a subsystem. Uh, here we go, non-friendlies by the looks of it, oh shit, there we go, wrong key. <laughs> right, if I sneak up behind this guy, Ruthilla, and hit the brakes, I'll show you. My left arm, now I've got sub target, I can choose whatever I want to aim for specifically. So, we need to check Ruthilla actually. No record. 
There's a big ass anaconda just dropped in as well to say hello, I see. So we'll go see what is uh There he is. Yeah, well your power will knock nearly every system out. Okay, you're clean, competent and you have no record. Well are you a barrel of fun? Ship far away ahead of me. Hieronymus Artrald. That's a gobful of a name, isn't it? Sometimes those are okay. It's quite hard to actually, in the heat of battle, decide to actually aim for something. See, so he's got 1,200 credits. I'm actually going to take him on. Take that credits. Uh, okay. Online. And they drop some technical blueprints as well, but I'm not going to bother with them. Okay, I've got to target you, haven't I? It's this one. Who's this one? Uli. In your little sidey winder. Okay, so you just hit me. I think it's that, it's anac that anaconda hit me by accident. I can't believe that sign he's taking on that, uh, pie, uh, that anaconda. Transport has just dropped in. Uh, yeah, Master Thief, um, you've got to obviously kill the person. But the the only thing I've come across is that if you don't get the kill, you might have done shit ton of damage to them, but you might not have actually got the kill. Uh, you don't get the bounty. Um, no, Lee. Right, a Type Six transport. What's he got? He's got a 5,000 credit bounty on his noggin, so we'll take him on. Let's get his attention. Uh, hitting him, so he's turning, he's turning. He's turning. Uh, when I'm, the only time I use the keyboard, usually uh, Robo, is when I'm selecting targets. Um, like, say, subsystems or things like that. Shields yeah, shields are gone. And they're alright, still holding. He's boosted away. Uh, so when I request like docking or anything like that, he's dead. Target destroyed. Mark Sykes, I want to get away from that anaconda. I do not like having that anaconda around. Sophie Inara Krista Delu. So 
So like now I'm using the keyboard just to check she's got 7,000 credit. Fine, a bounty on her noggin. Shields haven't come down that. Oops, uh, yeah, one second, uh, Lumberg. Under attack. Uh, okay. Oops, somebody's just fired a dumbfire rocket at me by the looks of it. Well, that went whizzing past my head. Target shields offline. See, once you cut through an eagle shield, and you can hit them with the multi cannon. They don't stand a bloody chance. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I ain't trying to read Jenny's shield, but cannon should take him out before then. There he goes. She goes. There we go. Target destroyed. Right, uh if I load out my ship, um This is what I've got on mine at the moment. Uh, if you see like the C4, C4 there, the type and the size. I've got two beam lasers, two multi cannons, and then everything else is upgraded, pretty much. That's my fire groups. And that's I think as best as I can give you really. Okay, let's have a look at this hauler. He's on the Derek Virgo. Okay. Uh, he's got no. All right. Yeah. Okay. I've I've not seen anything get yet, guys. So uh, I won't dare disconnect yet. <laughs> All oh, right, so that's not good. Okay, I've got an unknown sidewinder just popped in. It's looking non-friendly. Ah, uh, hang on, might just jump to it. <laughs> yeah, Valerie Dark Jen, in a little sidewinder. She's not friendly. You've got 2,200 credit bounty on your head. Uh, no shields, mince meat. Target destroyed. Scan detected. <coughs> okay, Jens, you're dangerous in your Viper. Uh, it's because I'm swapping between my fire groups, Robo. Uh, basically, at the moment on this, I've got a warrant scanner and I've got a discovery scanner. Now, frame if I press a key detected. on my joystick, that changes to a uh, frame shift drive into Dicta and a work scanner. Uh, but then, if I change that, that changes to my normal guns and lasers. Hence why you'll see it flipping, flopping between them. Frameshift charge detected. Oh, God, he left. Didn't think he was ever going to go. Uh, yeah, Zoka, if you, if there's problems with the servers, uh, it could be that it's not updating properly. Uh, you've asked probably one of the hardest questions and probably one of the most ongoing questions ever, Lamps. Uh, Mathberg. It's horses for courses, should we say? It's how you fly, how you feel, what you want. Um, I think the Viper's more aimed at a. Um, imagine like that. For me, I think the Viper is more like an F-16, whereas I think the Cobra is more like an F-15. 
Um, it's more of a multi-role, you can go trade in it if you wanted to, etc. But it is a preference, exactly, Harris. It's entirely up to you. Right, I'm not going to shoot him up the bum. Because he hasn't got any bounties on him. So yeah, it's a bit difficult, actually, to choose. Um, I quite like beams, uh, just purely because it allows me to constantly hit someone's shield, uh, whereas pulls it's pium, pium, pium. Again, uh, it's whether it's good or bad, I couldn't really say. I've not tried everything in the game, so just a case of do something, try it. If you like it, keep on doing it. There's a moral to life in there somewhere. Okay, so... Uh, there's a ship there. Joe Callahan. You're deadly and you're Viper. But how deadly are you? 27,000. Right, we could have a little battle here, guys. This Viper, he's deadly. He's obviously got a decent bounty on his head, so let's open up. Take his shield down, hopefully. Remember to put four pips into weapons, of course. got turned. He's going to open up with a nice volley at me. Under he did fire rockets as well. This could be interesting because I may struggle a little bit here with the turn on. Viper's turn very quickly. Ah, okay, so he just deployed chaff. Shields are getting a hammer in. His shields are nearly through. Target shields offline. Right, shields are down. So he's down to 75% hull, he's not dead yet, out of the water, his shields are regenerating. He's lined up on me again, don't fire rockets. If you can as well, whenever you're um, twisting and turning with somebody, if you know they've got rockets, dumb fires especially, the missiles, never fly in a straight line towards them. Because they will eat you alive. I started bailing stuff. He's down to four percent. Just need to boost to get a bit closer. Target shields online. Oh, his shields just came back on just to save his scrawny little lass there. 1% 1% See, he just fired his dumb fires at me again He's gone Watch the explosion Boom. There we go. 27,000. Vipers, asps, and all that. Oof, could be a pain in the ass at times.
So we've got 930. Let's have a look, see what we've got on the bounties then. Transactions 50,000 in Empire, 7. That's not too bad. Okay, somebody's just turned up there. Lars Porsena. You can you uh, hey reminiscence. Um, welcome to the stream. You can um, use the Oculus Rift. I, I don't. I don't have one, uh, but it is usable. Okay, Lars, are you clean? Are you really that clean? No, you're not. Shields are offline. We're gonna probably try and leg it, I would have thought. But it's not gonna get very far. Target destroyed. Mark Walton. See, he might be friendly to me. a bounty on him. No, he doesn't. Uh, uh, it's a bit of both, I think. It's When you're fighting AI, they, they can be a little bit predictable, but once you get into the deadly master elite range of um, AI, then you've got to be careful, because they do fight very well. Uh, player on player, I think, uh, it's pilot skill and obviously um, equipment on their ship so you just it's hard to say Rabiki let's see then Mr. Rabiki <laughs> uh, the other thing I'll probably do where uh, real boys uh, run out of bullets <laughs> which is a distinct possibility Beaky. Ah, you got a crappy little bounty on you. Target shields offline. Scan detected. go. Oh, cheers Ziplock. Thank you very much for that uh, follow. Yes, they are basically NPCs, uh, but I have got a player just turn up in an eagle. Now this could turn out very nasty for both of us, because I don't know who he is, Commander Adulfi. They like to pay it off, so he has no record, so I'm not going to attack him. Now he could start to attack me, but we shall see. Oh, Brutron, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for the follow. Always appreciate it. Somebody's having a little ding dong over there. And another one. Porkamix, thank you. I've, I haven't butchered anybody's name too much there. Oh, this is a beast. It's a python. Okay, you're sat there. Maybe a bit of a glitch. But you do have a 37,000 credit uh, 
Bounty on your head. Okay, I think this might be bugged out because we don't seem to be doing a lot of damage to him. <laughs> Can't keep up with him. Oh, cheers, Mark Hooper. Under attack. Yeah. Okay, I've got this Mark Walton having a good pop at me. I don't know if it's just Mark Walton that's having a pop at me or well, he seems to be going after that uh... I don't know if the servers are playing up or not oh hello something did just hit me from behind there I've got an unknown viper now I don't know if this this clown having a pop at me or not It's not him. But I do have a... I do have a Viper here. That is not friendly to your Homer Morris. I know I'm clean, but what are you? If he was actually firing though, that I would actually be in combat with him. See, I think this is bugging because I don't see the missiles coming, it just seems to be when I'm in their vicinity. Why are you so more? Okay, I'm not really down with the kids, but, but somebody can explain what so more means. <laughs> that See, that's just hit me and I ain't a clue where it's coming from. Now, oh, Rodolfi, is it you? Cannon life support FSD. No, it's not the player. It definitely isn't the player because he hasn't got anything. Under attack. Hey, oh, that Python's having a go at me now. Oh, he's decided he's come at work. if I actually target him with the weapons. Eh, how irritating. He had a good, decent sized bounty on him. But... Frameshift charge detected. 
Okay, looks like Commander Adolf is trying to go after him. Alright, right, let's head back towards the nav beacons because we've gone way off. Yeah, I just could not work out where that was coming from. <coughs> Not work it out at all. <laughs> well, there's a me, I haven't brought the servers honest. I'm still connected, seemingly for now, anyway. I don't move, I don't log out or anything. Probably hazard a guess that 99 people or 99 percent people in uh, who are watching or in chat role have got uh, some involvement in Star Citizen as well. <coughs> Master Snacko, see this is where you could get into a whole world of hurt. You see, because he's a master. As they detect the scan. So. Mm, he's got. Eh. He's only a hauler, so it's not too bad. Not too scan bad. Scan detected. Target shields offline. Friendship charge detected. Let's go. Target destroyed. Target shields online. Flash Gorgon. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Flash Gordon, it's Flash Gorgon. Oh yeah, I'll hit P to you if I can take you up. Be about to blow. There we go. That's 16k. Competent in the Mark Three. Okay. Just in range. Just in range. Outside the range. <laughs> oh, balls. I didn't uh, scan him totally. <coughs> I released the button too quick. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting shot at. 
might be my last fight because I've got to be careful on the uh, shields are down my bullets are running low on my multi cannons Across his end of his nose. Okay, there it goes. Boom, 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 boom. Ting. Target destroyed. <laughs> it could indeed. So let's have a look at my bounties, what I've got up to now. So I've got 43,000 in Federation, I've got 50,000 in Empire and a piddly little amount in Alliance. That's not too bad. <coughs> Just means I have to jump between the Alliance and that and backwards. Boing, 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 boing. Okay, so Apocalypso is a novice. But he's an NPC. And his eagle deagle. Scan detected. Okay. Okay, you'll do. Under attack. Oh, there he goes. <coughs> Four and a half thousand. <laughs> Nova Mark Three. Nova Competent. Michael Millard. Okay, somebody's having a go at you, so I reckon you might have a bounty. Only a piddly little one. Target shields offline. Okay, an eagle just turned up again. That's Adolf again. Commander Adolf. Mikey Freedom. Decon. What have you got? No record, but Mikey Freedom does. Target destroyed. Okay. Another eagle just turned up. Well, I'm going to run out of bullets here, so I need to make like a tree and leave, I think. Charging. Four, three, <coughs> two, one, engage. Okay, so. Let's pop out warp there. So, we want to be going to. 
view, anarchy, government, allegiance, empire, laid in. Fastest routes. Okay. There we go. Frameshift drive charging. Let's get lined up. A quick hello to everyone that's joined the stream tonight. Uh, good to have you all on board. If you uh, do like the stream, then by all means, please hit that follow button. Hello Red Mole, good to see you. Thank you for joining the stream. Cheers Yokers for the uh, follow. Thank you very much. Right, let's head to Valunga. Just check the D-scanner. Uh, it will disappear Brutron. Uh, I believe you'll go back to either the nearest starport or the previous starport you were logged in at it doesn't just hang around in space drive charging. <clears throat> especially with the server disconnects and everything um, yes you can play in solo uh, but you will be playing um, against AI but you do have to have a bit of an internet connection it's not totally offline Oh, cheers, Grossalis and Monsieur Gui. Thank you. Oh, and Adam J3. Let's go. You all sneaked in very quick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> More fuel. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I've, I've not played Rust in a long, long time. I got it when it was in um, like Alpha, but I've not played it for a while. Uh, yeah, reminiscence. Uh, basically, I'm scooping the hydrogen from these big gas giants. Uh, instead of having to pay for the fuel when I get to a station, I can fuel scoop it off the like upper atmosphere. So I get my fuel for free. Uh, no, the, the only thing you can buy is skins and um, badges for your ship. Fuel scoop disengaged. There we go, there's in. My favourite little haunt. Frameship drive charging. Oh, cheers chap for that, thank you very much. Yeah, I noticed we've had a, a quite a few issues with servers it's for people engaged. not being able to get in and Three, disconnecting two, and stuff like that. One, Yes, Red Mull. Um, basically, your character is persistent across um, 
open play, which is where you're playing against other players, as well as group play, which you can choose with your friends, as well as the um, solo mode. So yes, it's persistent across all. So if you die in the open play, your character is dead as such in the um, solo mode as well. Ah. That's not so good, chap. That's not what we want to hear. <laughs> right, head to Ulrich Rock. Uh, the downside Nimbus, welcome to the stream by the way, um, it's time consuming um, and you have to pay for a fuel scoop. Uh, not perma dead as such because you get your ship back for your insurance. I just rather say you died in offline mode at a certain place, say you died here at Ulrich's Rock and then you thought, oh, go on to online mode, then your character would still be dead at Ulrich's Rock, such. Yeah, the heat for fuel scooping, you just got to be very careful because the, the game will pull you out of super cruise if you get too close to the actual planet or the gas giant star, whichever you're uh, <coughs> using to scoop the fuel. terminal you pillock. I thought I had it marked wrong. As I was saying earlier regarding scooping fuel, um, if you get stuck in the middle of nowhere and you've got no way of getting fuel, you think, oh crap, why didn't I have a fuel scoop? Plus, when you're starting off and you're maybe doing a, a round trip to say four sectors and you're using even an economic route, you could be spending say three, four, five, six thousand credits in fuel. Now, if you're only making 20,000 per run, um, in your trading and you're giving away a quarter in fuel spending on getting even the cheapest fuel scoop is going to pay and increase your profits because you're going to get the fuel for free um, I've only played Eve very little uh, and I think, as people have, uh, will tell you, that they're chalk and cheese. There's, I don't think there's any real comparison. Oops, it is. I need to uh, request docking. Docking request granted. Landing gear deployed. Uh, we got. Come on. Up, 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 thrusters. Okay. Uh, I think it's just a lot of missions for that particular area, uh, Mr. TJ. Uh, there are quests where you won't get paid for them, or the missions from the bulletin board where you won't get paid for things. Um, but you will gain reputation quicker for them. I'll see if I can actually find... Oh, God, that orc is taking off. Stupid. Too far. Hit the brakes. There we go. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. <clears throat> it 
Yeah, I think uh, I think that's what's caught a lot of people out actually is how open it is and how unforgiving it is because people have struggled with even the tutorial part of getting out of um, space stations, going into space stations because it's not auto dock. I mean, that was one of the first things you used to buy in um, in the original Elite because docking in the original Elite was a pain in the ass. You had none of this auto rotation stuff. Uh, and it was a challenge, which I think is quite good. Uh, hi, Mark Cooper. Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, some people struggle with docking. Uh, like I just said, uh, I don't. I, I don't mind it. I prefer to do it because I could do it a bit quicker. Uh, I did use the docking computer in the early days. I think it was in one of the early betas or the late alphas and I didn't like it, I honestly didn't like it it, it was a bit flaky, I've not tried it since and I, do, I don't need uh, the space taken up I could use it for something else on my ship um, I believe there's going to be some boxed versions but I don't know when but I think at the moment it is only a digital download Redmall Yeah, vertigo, yeah, it's uh, definitely a lot harder. Ah, there you go. Mac. Uh, he's got the he's got the answer for you there, uh, Red Bull. So let's go to Starport Services. We can reload, see that's all my bullets. See four thousand it costs each time, but kick the crap out of it, see that journey you know, and all that flying around only cost me essentially 56 credits in fuel. Yes, if you, it's a very bad mistake, usually when you're drunk. <laughs> uh, tend to, on a Saturday night, have a few, uh, <coughs> a few vodkas, or if I've got the day off the following day, and it, um, I need to learn to stop flying when I can't actually fly straight. Right, so I've got a contact, it's got a local security office, and we shall redeem the 50,000 in credits. <laughs> you got that dyslexic keyboard again, Andy. <laughs> Fat fingers. <laughs> we'll believe you. It's a dyslexic keyboard. Okay, Universal Counter Graphics, anything to sell here? Oh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Any tips for making money to save up for better ships early on in the game? Um, it's actually, the, the early game is probably some of the hardest. Uh, just purely because you're taking small amounts. Um, and it feels very grindy um, but have a look at some of the websites there's elitetradingtool.co.uk there's a few um, trading tools that you can download and run on your computer like Slopey's BDC I think it is um, things like that help um, but sometimes I think it takes a little mystique away from the game where you would have a pen and pad and write down right there, have this this addressing, you know, this is selling at this amount. Um, but with the multiplayer aspect and the invention of the internet, because it's a dynamic universe and the prices fluctuate due to supply and demand, you might think, right, I'll go back there, they were buying it at, say, 3,000 credits for gold. By the time you get there, it might only be two and a half. Um... Hi Grisolis, welcome to the stream my friend. Um, yes you can have more than one ship. Um, anybody who pre-ordered uh, the mercenary pack which was available just before launch, they get a, or they got a free eagle ship which was docked I think at your start point. Mine was always at Lave um, where I started off with this character or this uh, ship because I started with Cobra Mark III. Um, but yes, you can have more than one ship, you just leave it docked somewhere and then it's up to you to go 
get it later on and do whatever you want with it if you know what I mean yeah Brutron that's pretty much what I uh, <laughs> do uh, yeah Vertica that's a good, uh, good ploy because at the moment um, if you get the killing blow you get the bounty so somebody could be on 1% and you could have taken them down from 100% whole health down to 1% and all it takes is somebody to come along with a one lucky shot of a laser and they actually get that kill they get the bounty uh, it's irritating annoying and at times damn right unfair but it depends which side of the coin you're on so but this is where I think group play is going to help once they actually introduce the real proper group play where you'll be able to fly around in a group share bounties take down the big anacondas um, and they'll introduce maybe dynamic events where there'll be groups of pirates <coughs> flying around and instead of thinking I can't take these on solo you take them on as a group so there's, there's, there's going to be scope oh the server's gone again oh dear that's not so good I honestly do, uh, well <laughs> I don't know chat because yesterday I stole somebody's um, bounty and, uh, and it was a real play. <laughs> he wasn't too chuffed because he then attacked me but um, uh, so, but I, I, I don't know it'd be one to test I suppose and, and see if it uh, actually does happen as you, as you say chap. Um, who was it? Let's have a look. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, okay. Uh, so, oh yeah, Mr. TJ. Um, I, I know you were asking uh, about your how to increase with like the federation and stuff like that. Well, there's certain quests. Oh, quests are called quests. Missions in the bulletin board. Um, and this one in particular it's got no monetary value to it but it's naval progression opportunity basically it's going to be reputation you'll have to go get personal weapons four of them and you'll rank progress which is that's the reward so that is another option but it's actually going to find these personal weapons and then bringing them back and usually quite strict time limits as well so He had a very weird quest early and it was really easy, uh, I'll have to highlight it uh, later on from the street. I picked up a quest and it was just one of these uh, take cargo for them, they gave you the cargo and they wanted you to jump I think two sectors over and they gave me 203,000 credits just for taking 20 tonnes of gold. Uh, Gunology, uh, welcome to the stream my friend, um, white screen, I've never known that before, um, it could be all sorts, could be driver issue, could be anything, uh, I, I really don't, uh, I can't, so that one to be fair, um, that 200k one, see the problem with that is you've got to go find this guy, this guy called Acolyte Jones, uh, and you've got that time to do it and I really haven't got time to, to actually do it I know obviously I've got time maybe tomorrow but I don't want that hanging over my head it's nice but I just know I'm going to have to jump around and try and find this guy and hear about him and find out where the hell he's gone <clears throat> and it is like half eleven in the UK now so I'm not going to be on all night but um, we shall see right I'm just going to go into outfitting and see if there's anything for sale here I don't think there is Uh, by the way, Gunology, what um, what graphics card are you running? Um, have you updated the drivers 
specifically for that. I'm just wondering if it just if it's crashing that way, it could be a driver issue or it could be a problem with the game. Uh, and if you're able to, I don't know how, how well you are fixed for reinstalling the game. Okay, so. Um, I mean, people could come along and and have a go at all this. Um, there's always that opportunity. The thing is, they've got to know where you are, and obviously they can work that out. But they've got to be nearby to come and do it. Um, there is a chance of it happening, but you've always got the chance to react. It's not like an FPS game where they can watch where you are and then they will literally snipe you in one shot and that's it, you start again. Whereas this, if they come and attack you, then you've always got the chance to escape. Um, as long as you've got a decent enough ship to escape in. Yeah, exactly, Vertigate. Sometimes you're just too far apart. Uh, Mac, um, yes, I do use a Hotas. I've got a uh, X52, SciTech X52. Uh, it's not the pro version. Um, I've had it for quite a long time. I used it for a lot of flight sims. I bought it about seven, eight, nine years ago, something like that, when they first came out. Um, but definitely, it makes, in my opinion, a hell of a lot of difference to the game using a Hotas or even just an uh, even a joystick itself. So I can heartily recommend one. Heartily, indeed. Okay, I want to scan on this. I've got a C rating on that one. Oh, T Lee's Telus, thank you very much for that uh, follow. Yeah, with the release of obviously Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous, they've become like rocking horse shit at the moment. Um, sometimes you can pick them up second hand, but then they can be quite expensive, even for second hand, so. Right here we go. Let's have a look then. Uh, nothing else I really want on there. Sold everything I can on there. Hmm. That seems to be misbehaving. Right. So, ah, uh, hmm. see that's not. Uh, yeah, I was updated. Pfft, I hate it when it does that. <laughs> That transaction screen always takes a few seconds to update, and I think, hang on, why haven't I added that in? And then it disappears, you flick off it, the tab, and then come back on it. Right, so I need to cash in this 50,000 before servers crap out on me. So we'll see what we can, uh, we can find. So, Federation, Federation, a crusty nation. Right, that's handy because the nearest one is either Valunga or the LHS. So. Some allegiance of non government. Oops, it's anarchy. All right, so we'll go to Chowie because that's federation. 